Hi guys, thanks for joining my YouTube channel. Well, today uh, we will be sending a letter uh, that was written by a fan of Love and Marriage Huntsville to Arion. Um, it is a very direct letter. It is um, filled with a lot of uh, wisdom and knowledge based on um, her perception of what took place and the timeline of the Arion and Martell's uh, scandal. Okay, so thanks again for tuning in. Be sure to com um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Dear Arion, I mean no shade. Please keep reading until the end. I don't want to shock you. But the reality is, you were not used for a storyline. The storyline was about Martel and his wife having marital problems, mainly because of his being unfaithful to his marriage vows. As the storyline unfolded, we learned the truth about him cheating, having a mistress for five years during his marriage to Mel. As that storyline unfolds, more references were made about the person Martel was having an affair with for five years. She was referred to as a peasant mistress, someone who does the things in the bedroom that he likes. She's pregnant, and later the scene with your voice on the telephone in the car when he told you he wanted a DNA test. No names were dropped in this above-mentioned storyline. I believe it wasn't until the bloggers, vloggers became aware of who you were via info dropped in their DMs. At this point, who you were and your name was revealed in social media, not on Love and Marriage Huntsville, not in that particular storyline. I don't believe anyone was has mentioned your name, not ever, Martel. He's only made references. So I would like to encourage you to move on in your life. Put this said chapter behind you. There is nothing honorable about the role you played in the breakdown of someone's marriage. I don't care what side of the story you feel you have to tell, how much he chased you and kept coming back, buying your affection, lying to you. Bottom line is it was wrong. Martel was wrong, you were wrong. The thing is, we all make mistakes. We all mess up, do things we shouldn't, sin. The wonderful thing is God loves you always. He is the God of a second chance. He can fulfill the void you have. It's only one way to God, and that through his son Jesus, the decision is yours. Read Romans 10, 9. Believe in your heart, repent turn away from wrong actions, ask God to forgive you, then forgive yourself. Seek Christian therapy, focus on yourself and your children. You'll find it is so much more to life than the delusional state you've been living in. So much more that the, than the sidelines of Love and Marriage Huntsville. So much more God's ha God has for you than being someone's mistress never putting yourself first. Be blessed and oh, manage your social media live feeds a little better. Just saying. This is excellent advice. Yes, we all sin and fall short of the glory of God, but the main idea is that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves us unconditionally. I touch and I agree with the wisdom and the knowledge that was shared in this letter. In Jesus' name, amen.